What's up guys this is me Teacher Tapan here and welcome to my channel Tricks is here. So today I am going to show you how to do human figure with watercolor. Means I will show you step by step how to draw the human figure and I will show you how to do the color as well. So for drawing of the human figure what I did I just did a standing line kind of a vertical line to make the figure perfect. After that I am just drawing the structure then only I will make the figure the trays the eyes nose hair everything the body parts properly so remember when you are going to draw human figure if you draw the structure then your figure will not be imperfect so what you need to do you need to remember our figure when we are standing our figure are having kind of 7.5 heads or kind of like 8 heads so the measurement will be whatever head you have drawn the size of the head the same size if you multiply with the eight times okay whatever size you will get the same size will be for our human body you just need to remember that like it's a kind of rough calculation So when we are going to draw a scenery with the human figure, first we need to draw the human figure and after that we need to complete the scenery. So like this way we just need to complete the whole picture and after that we will be going to start coloring. For the coloring whatever materials I have used I have given the link in the description below you can check it over there because these days you cannot go outside for that you can buy from online as well. So before going to start coloring a small request to everyone please subscribe my channel and press the bell notification icon to get more and new new videos every day. So without wasting any time let's get started. So before going to start watercolor what we need to do we need to make our paper little wet with the water. So for the sky I have just taken a kind of thick brush thick brush you can take like number 11 or number 12 with that you just need to take normal plain water and you will just spread it on the sky after that here I have taken Prussian blue color and Prussian blue color I'm just spreading with the water little little bit on the sky to show the cloud effect I'm just leaving some of the places white gap After completing the sky we need to take ultramarine blue with that we will mix little bit of crimson color to make kind of a purple color just we will create the purple color to use on the mountain so for the mountains we just need to start coloring from the top and the lower part we will be smudging little bit with the water then it will look kind of fog effect or kind of a mist the more it will go far you can see in my picture I'm just doing very lightly means you need to smudge the color with the water too much remember when you are doing watercolor you need to have color kind of like 40% and water should be 60% there should not be a lot of paint because if you do very darkly while doing color especially about the first tone that time if you do darkly later on you cannot make it lighter that's why watercolor is kind of called layer by layer technique means you need to go from light to dark 
now for the bush or kind of valley i have taken sap green color with sap green i just added little bit of burnt umber color burnt umber means the dark brown and burnt sienna is the light brown so with burnt umber when you will mix the sap green color you will get kind of olive green color so that color only i am using on the valley Now I have taken yellow ochre color and with yellow ochre I just mix little bit of crimson color to show the sand effect. It will look better because if you take directly yellow ochre color it will look like a single color and it will not look good. So whenever you are doing kind of little far area that time you can just add little more water with the color and then only you can use it nicely. When you are coming down for the water we need to add more water to our paper to make the paper wet. First we will make the paper wet and after that we can use the paint for the water. So I am taking only ultramarine blue with ultramarine I just added little bit of crimson color. It will look natural or realistic effect because if you take direct ultramarine it will look like completely bluish. So which is not looking good in the watercolor. That's why you just need to add some paints with ultramarine blue whether you can use little bit of crimson or you can use cadmium red as well. So it will look like kind of purple or like that effect. As you can see already I put a lot of water on my paper to make the paper wet. For this nearest uh, area also I am using kind of burnt sienna which is light brown color. So for that I have taken burnt umber color with that I added little bit of cadmium red. If you have burnt sienna color that also you can use. You can mix little bit of with your locker. So for the face just I have taken yellow ochre color and I am using that one only one side of the face especially the left side because the left side I will keep it as a shadow and the right side I will make it highlight. So this one I am just going to put the first tone on the human body. So this will be very very light after that we will put the second tone which will be medium tone then we will go for the dark tone which will be shadow so for the skin color i'm just using only your locker not any other color for the face arms and the leg and feet everywhere i'm just using only your locker color when it will be dried on top of that we can use burnt sienna color so for the burnt sienna you can take the burnt sienna color directly or you can create the burnt sienna color as I don't like to use that burnt sienna color directly. So what I did, I took little yellow ochre color. With that I mixed cadmium red and with that I just took a little bit of sap green. Then you can get the burnt sienna color easily. Or else you can use burnt sienna color directly. That's completely fine. So the left side again I'm using for the shadow and I just put a little bit of uh, that burnt sienna color. And now I'm smudging with the water. You need to smudge very well because the color strokes should not be visible.
so my second tone is almost about to finish for that we have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes when it will be dried completely after that we can go for the third tone which will be the last tone and which will be called as a shadow the dark shadow so on the human body for that you just need to take brunt umber color you can take either brunt umber color directly to make the shadow or you can create that color like you can take little yellow ochre color with that you can mix cadmium red and with that you can use little prussian blue or sap green as well then you will get the brunt umber color which is called as dark brown don't use the black because when you are doing watercolor you should not use a black color lot of uh, on your paint uh, on your painting because it doesn't look good whenever we click the picture the black color definitely is there black color means where the light cannot reach till the time the sun is there in this universe definitely the light is there and that opposite of the light we just need to make the shadow for that shadow we should not use the black color directly if you want to use that has to be 0.001% the less you can use black color in your painting that will be best for you So as you can see in the picture my skin color is about to finish means the first tone second tone and the dark tone is already finished so now i am going to the hair part hair is actually darker color that's why we should do after completing the skin tone only so this hair actually i want to show the yellow hair means the golden hair for that i am using yellow ochre color for the first tone after that same thing we need to use the brunt sienna and then later on we can use brunt umber color So as you can see on top of the yellow ochre color I am using brunt sienna color for the second tone. When it will be dried on top of that we can use brunt umber color for the dark tone which is called as shadow. So you can see now here I am using brunt umber color to make the dark tone and you just need to take a thin brush to show a single single hair it will look like realistic effect. So in the picture my skin color and the hair color is already completed now only the dress is left so for the dress you can choose any color but here I am going to show the white color dress and for that I have created the purple color to show the shadow. So how to create the purple color you just need to take little crimson color and you need to mix with that ultramarine blue. Instead of that you can use little brilliant red as well. Uh, from the Reeves brand definitely you can get the brilliant red or some other brand also like kind of Vincent Newton uh, You can get it easily So with that brilliant red if you use little bit of ultramarine blue easily you can create the purple color So many times I have told in my video like what is the difference between purple and the violet? There is a big difference between purple and violet purple is kind of lighter than violet because violet is having more blue so purple is having more red this is the main difference between purple and violet so 
when you are showing white color dress you just need to remember purple will be the second tone first tone is definitely white which is already there in our paper on top of that we just need to use the purple color on top of that we can use violet color for the shadow So for the white color dress some places you need to use purple color some places you need to use ultramarine blue as well and these two color you just need to mix some places with the water then it will look like realistic effect. As I am going to do the skirt as well white color that's why I am just applying purple color now and on top of that I will do little shadow which is with the ultramarine blue. So you can see first tone I just put already purple color which is having more kind of reddish and when I am coming to the bottom part there I am using little more ultramarine blue which will be looking kind of a shadow. You need to show the difference between two legs with the colors only. It's not like that she is wearing a dress and the legs will not be visible because when the girl is walking you have to show because near the beach is always kind of windy atmosphere and for that the skirt is kind of little flying so you just need to show that flowing effect with your paint only in watercolor we should not use any kind of black paint to make the black border whatever you want to do you have to show the light and shade with the colors only with that we can show our object whether it's living object or non-living object with the light and show, uh, shade the depth we need to show the value we need to show then only our object will be visible more clearly So the dress is almost done and the rest part is left kind of a shadow on the sand means the nearest area. For that you can take kind of little ultramarine blue with that you can mix little bit of yellow ochre or you can mix little brown timber as well to show the shadow. But remember one thing when you are using direct color on the paper because this paper is now is completely dried. On top of that you need to use a lot of water to smudge the paint nicely 
otherwise the strokes will be visible which will not look good after finishing your painting. Now we just need to show some little reflection on the water for that you need to make violet color uh, with violet color with you can use little more ultramarine which will be kind of little dark ultramarine or you can say kind of like dark violet color so for that you need to take ultramarine more and crimson just a bit touch then you can create this kind of color and after using the paint you need to smudge it with the water nicely. So like this way step by step we need to complete our painting. I hope you got the proper guidance so you also can try at your home. If you enjoyed watching this video and found this tutorial helpful then give a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you are new in this channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell notification icon to get every day new new video. Nowadays for the covid situation you cannot go outside. For that all the material links I have given in the description below, you can check it over there. So whenever you are getting free time every day, try to practice. The more you will do practice, the more you can make your artwork better. As I always say, be creative, be confident. Bye bye.